let's talk about I'm Shadow Box. So you're able to land the good spot 1-1. One, one. You had to do a little bit of work to get there initially, but then getting some cover obviously helped. Yeah, thanks, Gerson. Uh, we were able to get the 1-1. One, one. After doing a fair bit of work early, you know, we were three wide in the turn and uh, four wide in the turn. And uh, the lead time was strong. The first quarter is strong. And, you know, he's a, a keen little horse. He's, uh, we call him a little rev head. You know, he, he gets up on the chewy when he's in open air. And the main thing tonight, though, was uh, what he hasn't done for a long time, which was relaxed on a helmet. And uh, that meant he was able to get a breather, even though we were still He wasn't overdoing it. And I think... Uh, that, uh, that told the tale in the end. But, you know, he's a lovely little horse and Dad's put a lot of time and effort into him and, uh, you know, he's, our, he's probably the best horse in our stable and uh, he showed that tonight. So, no, I can't be more happy with him. Greg, I won't deny I was probably one of the people that had jumped off Miller Joy, but she made me look kind of silly tonight. She's run really well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she sort of probably put the writing on the wall that she was sort of getting back to her best um, last week. Um, she rattled home from last and, and beat after the field home and ran fifth. And I, I'm pretty sure Malecki, he spotted it and uh, you know, said she ran out of her skin, I think was his words. And um, yeah, we, we were sort of hopeful that um, we obviously hadn't done a lot with her in, in the week, but she seemed really well in herself. So we were, we were sort of hopeful and, uh, and reasonably confident that she would sort of replicate that performance um, tonight, she seemed to be in a good headspace, um, you know, over the last couple of weeks. And um, just fortunately for us, the race really got run to suit and we uh, couldn't have scripted it any better. He really showed up tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, back in claiming grade definitely helps and an easy first lap, but he's a, he's a very classy animal and when he's right, he's a, he's a good horse. He probably has bigger fish to fry, really, than Claim is. I mean, I know that he, he wouldn't be, you know, probably in Emma and Clayton's top ten, really, in real, realistic terms. But he's, he's got a be better, bigger and better future than Claim, as you would think. Yeah, definitely. I suppose it's just that consistency. He, he puts an ordinary one in every now and then, and um, they can be bad, but when he's good, he's really good. So, uh, yeah, I was glad the, the, the proper struve turned up tonight, and, and he ran a great race. That was a very, very tough effort, Kate. Yeah, it was. Um, it was super. Um, his form over the short is uh, is really good, and um, I can't say that I was confident of winning because of the two horses that drew one and two, but I was definitely confident of him running a very good race. And, um, yeah, Andy was happy if we were um, parked, and fortunately early we got to drip in for a little bit and then move up in the slowest quarter, and um, it was um, a terrific win to, to, finish, to finish it like he did. You're right. He does. He has deserved a really nice win and a Group One win at that. That it was. I say it was tough because we've got probably people here that aren't familiar with harness racing. But sitting outside the leader, particularly in that sort of time, that, that is a ginormous effort. Yeah, um, it's hard to sit outside the leader in any race these days, isn't it? So to do it in a race like this, um, you know, um, I've been lucky enough to win it. Um, I think maybe three times now and. Um, um, I've won it with really good horses, so um, it's a great race and um, thanks to Duncan at Aldebaran Park for putting it on every year and um, yeah, I'm just really happy that, that he got the win tonight. This horse obviously was a much better effort and I was just saying he seems to race a little bit better on the speed. Yeah, that's right. Um, look, he led up and was lost first up here and you know, he was only in the country a very short time, so we were still finding our way. and. Um, yeah, probably, yeah, his next two runs, fair to say they were disappointing, but, um, yeah, like I said, I think it just took him time to adjust and settle in, and, and last week's run, I was actually, I came away quite happy with, even though it probably looked ordinary on face value, because I sort of drove him in a manner that probably doesn't suit him at all, but he just felt like I was heading in the right direction, so I was pretty confident, yeah, dropping back to the short trip, and I was, you know, you know most likely going to settle in the first couple tonight, that he'd be better suited for sure. You said he's a little bit of a hard horse to sort of work out. What does he sort of indicate at home? I suppose, like, do you do a lot of teamwork with him? Is he sort of work more by himself? And that perhaps is why you, you're not quite sure what he, what he wants to do at the moment? Yeah, he's a funny horse. Like, you give him a, a, a jog and a canter sort of thing and he gives you the impression he's, like, real strong and will work all day. And hobble runs, he's, he's quite different. If he's by himself or if he's in front, he, he sort of switches off and doesn't really apply himself too much. And um, But following, he'll follow really well. And, um, yeah, he just sort of runs around a little bit. He's in and out. So he's, he, he's a different character. Um, but I think there is a bit of a motive there. So we just got to, you know, tinker with the, the program and, and just keep him happy. And uh, I think we're on the right track. He 
has been going really well and I know that you guys have a big, really big opinion of this horse. Yeah, yeah, he's been going well and um, you know, it's never easy. These, you know, they're good fields, very even and when he drew out the back like that he's always going to need a bit of luck but you know, he's, he's progressing really well. We'd sort of hope to get, get to this stage and but he's, he's got to keep improving, you know, to take on the big boys, but he's heading in the right direction at the moment. He's a newly aged five-year-old now, so with the change of season and the birthday sort of happening now as well. So he's still got a, a lot of racing ahead of him and to take that step to get to the next the next stage and against the big boys, what do you think he needs to do to get to that stage? Yeah, well, you know, this year won't be easy for him, but he can poke through and um, probably go to the Ballarat Cup now and the Hunter Cup and... Uh, you know, if he goes good enough in them, I wouldn't mind taking him up to Sydney for the Miracle Mile Carnival. But, you know, I think this year will um, stand him in good stead for next season. You know, it's always good to have a year on the grand circuit against the big boys. It toughens them up. And if they're good enough, they step up. And, uh, you know, he could have a really good year next year. He's bounced back sensationally tonight. Yeah, uh, one thing about Glenn's horses and um, the team out there, there, you always get the same horse week in, week out. Their horses are the most consistent horses uh, that I drive, that's for sure. Um, when, when one goes bad on face value, uh, they generally turn out the next week and go just the same as they, as they were before. So it's a credit to them how, how they prepare their horses, you know, week in, week out like they do and just have them going so consistently. I said on Trot's vision beforehand that I thought he might have gone for a spell, but perhaps keeping him going just while a couple of those sort of more high-class horses have gone for a break. He's been a bit of a stroke of genius. Yeah, uh, he found a suitable race tonight. It was a little bit of a tricky draw, um, but uh, he handled he handled that. Um, got home too too fast for him in the end. But um, no, what you say, it probably did help that a couple of the, those better horses probably weren't weren't going around tonight. But um, in saying that, he, he, his run um, rep replicated probably some of his some of his best uh, attributes tonight. That was a very impressive victory there. Yeah, he's a really nice horse. He hasn't had a um, great deal of starts and, and come through the grades really quick. So uh, he got to this level pretty fast and sometimes it takes a couple of runs to adjust and uh, that's been him and tonight he was really good. I agree a little bit with what Jason Bonington said. He's, he's promised a lot, but he hasn't quite been able to go on with it. And I suppose you've probably just answered that in the sense that he's just struggled a little bit to take that next level. Yeah, well, you know, it's easy for, you know, nice horses to run through the grades and then all of a sudden they come up with horses that had, you know, 40, 50 starts and won 15 races. So, uh, you know, he'll, he'll just keep getting better. He's got good speed and he's trotting well now.